spin, now come spin. What's up, Nyla? What's up? Big Nyla. Hello. NYLA. Good morning. Hi, guys. You, you, you were just out the country. Yeah, yeah, back from our the travels. <laughs> yes. yes. No. Brazil, How was that? Brazil was crazy. You loved it? Yes. Dope. Love, love everything about it. Rhapsody is an amazing performer, by the way. So happy I got to tour her. Had a really great experience. Good. Watching her live. People definitely need to go and see that. Like, not, if you're a real Rhapsody's rap fan. Tour DJ. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, if you really like rap music, that's the type of show you want to be at. I love the fact that I can get off a good hip hop set. Dope. I feel like it's hard to do sometimes, mm-hmm. but that was the demo. In other countries, they love hip hop. I feel like and respect hip hop a lot more than we do here. They do. They, they were do. throwing up the woo. Yep. They was mosh pitting during her set. Like mm-hmm. it was phenomenal. I had That's a great right. time. Make sure you guys uh, get tickets to go see Rhapsody. Please don't cry tour. She's coming to America after. Uh, Europe, but so just, you're saying that you can't get your fire bow wow mix off here? You only it ain't bow wow. Don't, don't, don't wow play mix. with me. Why are you doing that to me? <laughs> What's wrong with bow wow? By the way, no, what I have his do rags ever done to you. That's what I'm saying. So, <laughs> so they appreciate bow wow more in Brazil than they I'm do not talking about bow wow. I'm talking about real hip hop mixes. Wow, like, I was, so bow wow, wow is real hip hop. Wow. Wow. I meant, I meant How like fast you forget. Wait, wait. I meant like '90s hip hop. Like bow wow '90s hip hop too. Two thousand. Well, two thousand. I hip-hop. listened to him when I was six. He was the my favorite rapper. Raised when I was you. Yeah, it did. But that's not what I was playing. That's like a millennial warm up set. But this was like I played. Soldier Boy. What else? <laughs> Yo, I can't Let's stand get it to pass on. Let's get the pass All right, on. Yeah, today what we're playing is Victoria Monet to drop the new record with Usher called SOS, and it's definitely a certified vibe. That's dope. That's fire. Salute to Victoria Monet. Mm-hmm. That was dope. But it's going to be a lot of women singing that song that don't need to. Okay? Oh, well, right. I mean, that happens now already. It does. <laughs> <laughs> But shout out to Victoria Monet. She's having an amazing year. Jaguar 2 is still in heavy rotation for me. So I'm a fan. Next, I'm going to get into this. I know Big Sean's project dropped last week, but I didn't get to mention anything. Um, but my favorite record on there is Who You Are. It's my one, one of my favorite records off that album. Yo, why? I it's don't all... know. I just always feel like Big Sean's stuff just doesn't get the... Uh, that it needs, like it just came and went. I just think he came at a at a, at a wrong time, week, but it did came out last week. Where, where, okay, so <laughs> there was I, I just yeah, I see what you I, I understand see what you're like saying. It just came out last yeah, week, but, usually, but there should be more conversation. Absolutely, around the songs are great, and it's not happening. She's right. That is the era that we live in. Don't blame that on just Big Sean. Big I Sean, didn't blame it on Big Sean. I asked every, the question. Everything the comes and goes nowadays. Sadly, why I do not know. Just just the way this generation moves. News comes and goes. Music comes and goes. Y'all don't stick to nothing. But artists like Sean, Big what, Sean shouldn't yeah. come and go. I, what did he do first week? Other big, what did he do first week? I don't think don't he did go. that well. I think it was... Like 20-something thousand. Like, yeah. But that's like, I mean, a lot of people don't... That's different. When it comes to too. the Big Sean thing, I just don't think he's a media darling. Like... Oh, okay. I think Rhapsody's album was great. That shit wasn't talked about in the news. Still one of the best albums that dropped this year. Big Sean's album dropped. All right, it got talked about for a day and then it moved on. I think he's that's right. That's what happens with everything. Cycle. Unless you're a media darling, unless you're just one of the things that the blogs likes to pick up and right. talk about. Yo, Travis Scott sold 361,000 records last week. And y'all ain't talking about it. Yeah, yeah but I'm like really Travis a... Scott is like... Like what? One of the biggest stars in the world? Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just... <laughs> he sold 361,000 copies. It was number two by 600 albums, I think it was, right? Um, I ain't like... heard you mention it all week, Lauren. I, I didn't. Exactly. I'm Don't blame this on so y'all are the problem. Yeah, yeah, I'm not part of the problem. You're not part of the problem. It's y'all not generation. Part of the problem. I, I ain't problem. gonna say. Why you always blame yourself on our generation? You so old and angry. Are you feet <laughs> swinging right now? No, I'm just telling you the truth. Is you, 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 you love picking up something? Put that pinky up. Oh, oh, you know why? You know why? Because be the change you want to see in the world. Ooh. If you want things to last, if you want things to have staying power, well, use your now platform. I'm looking that's at the man in the mirror. Use your Leave platform. me alone. That's, that's, that's me alone. over here on oh, Past the Ox mm-hmm. talking about Big Sean's album because it's a great album. Make sure you guys tap in. That's why we're here talking about Rhapsody's album. That's right. Make sure you get to. Tickets to the police on that is a change. I want to sure. see. Yeah, period. All right. And then, of, of course, the Victoria Monet. But I'm going to get into this new ASAP Rocky featuring J. Cole that everybody keeps talking about. Ruby Rosari? Is that how you say it? Ruby Rosary? Rosari? Rosary? I don't know. R O S A R Y. Okay. We go with Rosari. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to play the Drake this part, but. He did he Drake? Drake? Yeah. But no, if that, that wasn't the part that he did. Are you making this up? No, that was the What headline. you said about Drake? Let me see. ASAP Rocky. 
Yeah, so the no, J. Cole better not be dissing no, nobody. No, 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 not ASAP, J. Cole. ASAP. Oh, ASAP Rocky. This is Rocky's record. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What do you say though? Even though y'all saw that Champagne Poppy posted like a picture of Cole and was like, Thank you for inspiring us for all these years. I don't know what the subliminal is. It, that was after this record dropped, but what did ASAP say? He said I mean, but up. they do that all the time too, though. Like they just they just always throw shots at each other. Oh, cut the sh- cut the shit, cut the lies, words to the wise. Who's in top five? Ha ha, fuck your top five. I don't get fresh step. Bitch, I'm buried alive. I heard dog talking funny like it's family guy. Caring for niggas like I'm Mary or Bob. Made a promise to God. Gotta strive when you marry the mob. I was at a drink this. Fuck your top five. Bitch, I'm buried alive. The record. You got a record called Buried Alive. Oh. Uh-huh. Then. Look, you thought you was about to eat that. I mean, it sounded like he dissing the whole top five. But you, you say F your top five. But we know who who he's shooting at. I mean, but Cole's on the record too, okay. so it's obviously not the whole yeah, we top know who five. he's shooting at. They do it all the time. I, look, I don't know. This I is, don't know either. I think y'all just be making up stuff. Our generation created beef. Our generation created beef. Here's the thing. Our generation, you need a massage. When I say this generation, I'm not just talking about y'all. It's just the whole cycle of people. Like the way people's minds work is just weird. He said F your top five. So your top five must be Drake, 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 and Drake. That's most people, Eli. Oh, God. We got him right here in the office. Right, Look, Jesus his hand's Christ. up right now. That's <laughs> All right. Pass the aux. Come on. Yeah, make sure you guys uh, follow me on the gram, at Nyla Simone, N-Y-L-A-S-Y-M-O-N-E-E-E. Check out these Brazil photos. They're fire. Mm-hmm. Check out my playlist. Um, by clicking the link in bio at It's a Certified Vibe. And make sure you guys tap into my podcast, We Need to Talk. I got a really, really dope episode dropping on Sunday with Victoria Monet. So tap in. All right. Now, when we come back, we're going to throw it back. We throw it back each and every Friday with the People's Choice Mix. And today, we're going to get on your favorite Rich Homie Quan record. Of course, rest in peace. So we're going to kick off the mix like that. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Uh, in the morning. The Breakfast Club.